Wow, what's poppin' people? Reaction video like never before. With Red G T V, man. We got academics whooping Meek Mill's ass, man. Uh, that's how I could put it. That's the best way I could put it. People texting me and everything, man. But yeah, without further ado, man, we we gonna go ahead and get into the video. I'm in a whip. <laughs> yeah, man. Let go. Niggas, man, nigga, yo, the nigga when we squashed our issue, the nigga said he been had my address. Bitch, I ain't move. The fuck is you go on Twitter again told my what's his address? You said you been had it, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? You gonna be the first rapper, I'm gonna make sure you got to prove it. It's fine. I ain't never, ain't nothing ever, ever happened to me before. Meek gonna have to be the first. I swear. It gonna have to be the first or else we not finna believe you, my nigga. I told you I stopped believing you. Matter of fact, let's go live. We on every platform right about now. Here we go. This nigga just keep talking all this bullshit, man. I don't know why he think. I ain't never hear this nigga talk this gangster to nobody. Boy, you almost got kicked out of Master's house when you try to fire on Travis Scott. But Michael Rubin told you, you better be, a, better be a good old boy and apologize to that nigga, boy. You ran over there and apologized to that nigga, Travis Scott, nigga. Because you was drunk, nigga, on some perks. Now nah, you super gangster with me because I don't know no white man that could tell you to stop. Told me the governor told you. Nigga, what are you talking about? What is me talking about? Talking about, oh, when I get back, I'm going to be in front of me. You not about to be in front of nothing. Don't come to my, listen, me, you, matter of fact, they're invited to my house. You, don't come with nobody else. Anybody else on my property will handle a calling. You're allowed. You come on my property and whatever you think you finna do, don't do when I ain't here. Do it when I'm here. But I know, I know the gangster's trick with this. You know what the gangster's trick is? Yo, he's, yo, he's here to trick the black man. This is why I can't respect you gangster niggas. Y'all niggas like, yo, yo, over time, y'all, whole gangster image eroded. You see, once we met niggas like King Vaughn and shit like that, we realized that's what a real gangster is. Anytime he had problems, he handled it. Niggas like you, you always got an excuse. Yo, I can't wait to see 6 9 I'm gonna make an example. You see 6 9 yo, he the police, he trying to trick me off the streets. Nigga, which is it? Are you an activist? You a killer? You start tweeting all that shit about me just because you ain't think I was going to say, bitch, my address is public. It's on Google. When are you going to pull up? And don't pull up and be like, hey, I'm pissing on his mailbox, y'all. Bro, the only time you should be taking out your dick freak millies for when you whip motherfucking Diddy, nigga. That's kind of funny. But let's get back to the origin of things. Let me just calm myself down. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I came on with a lot of energy. I'm going to tell you why. Because y'all might be like, Ak, why are you talking like that? If y'all going to co-sign anybody, you got you to gotta realize everybody got families. Everybody got situations. Meek got online and said, send me his address. I'm pulling up to his house to shoot a music video and I'm going to piss on his steps. Y'all should know already with everything I've been through, I don't take those words lightly. You're plain with your own health. And you're playing with the health of mine. I'm not into that. Boy, you mad because niggas said you sucked a cock? That ain't my concern. But you got to watch how you throwing threats around. But let me tell you something about Meek Mill. Meek Mill think he's invincible. I talk to all these rappers that are cool with him. They're all scared of him. I don't know why it is. He's going to have to show me why they're scared of him. Because every time I talk to them, they all admit to me in privacy, yeah, he's stupid as fuck. But, you know, it's Meek. Like, why don't you just tell me he's wrong? Nobody want to tell him that. So he going to have to prove to me. He's a, it's the first time I'm, I'm at the cross. I'm at the cross point in my life, in my career with the rapper. I need him to prove to me. And when he proves to me, I'm going to be like, yo, y'all, he was right. But until then, man, I'm not listening to no nigga who went to jail for a wheelie and cried for six months. I got him crying like two months ago, talking about how some white nigga saved his life. Him and bunny hopping for all these weirdo niggas. He talking about, he buying, you know what I mean, vibrating panties and dildos and then talking about the Atlanta life is so freaky, but then he mad because another nigga accused him of doing gay shit. Nigga, you got to explain yourself. You That ain't me. So let's talk, Meek. Your music ain't finna sell. I don't care what type of issue you got with me. I Meek, let me tell you this. I talk to Atlantic. I've been getting a six-figure check off them for a long time. They dropped you. I know. They said you were ass. They said you were trash. You were irrelevant to the current climate of music. You have been stuck sounding old for dumb long. But it's the same thing when last night somebody hit me up saying that was I down to get on the phone with you. And I said, 
bro, I already did this. Like, why are we even talking again? And they say, no, Meek Mill didn't understand the internet. And I say, you mean a 45-year-old man, which, by the way, Meek, you call me old, but you older than me. You mean a 45-year-old man who been in this game forever don't understand the internet? What do you mean he don't understand? No, he thought you made it. What do you mean he thought I made it up? Are you dumb or stupid, Meek? So let's actually put some things into um, perspective if we're going to recap this whole thing. I've been told y'all, there's, there's a couple niggas who are just the stupidest niggas in the game. Meek Mill is one nigga I nominate. He's the dumbest nigga possible. If you can tell by his lack of grammar, if you can tell by his lack of sense of uh, um, self-awareness, if you can tell by how he carries himself on social media, how you the only nigga in hip-hop that killed your own career by how you tweeted, nigga? If you had given your fucking Twitter to a label like the majority of artists does, your career would have been much better. You tweeted yourself out your spot. Now you're going to make up all type of shit. Did you know this dumb nigga actually got online today talking about, yo, it was AI. The lawsuit is AI made up. Is this nigga dumber? What? Are y'all going to allow this to happen? This one stupid nigga. I'm telling you, all that tough shit he talking about, Meek, let me tell you when I stop believing you, because you, you know what you're, you're shocked about? You're like, oh my God. Well, I told him I'm going to beat him up. Well, I seen you fight. You can't fight it. We could down, I'm down to squabble. You down? We could set up through Savage anything. You want to get up, uh, 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 you want to get some money? We could set up some, somewhere else. We could set up through Savage, just me and you. I'm down to squabble with you. I really don't think you could fight, and I really don't think you want no problems with me, and I really don't respect your hands, nothing. If you beat me up, so what? I don't care, but that's how much of a bitch I think you are. Let's talk about it. I wouldn't say this to half the other niggas in hip-hop because I don't think they like you. I just think you a hoe. I'm sorry. So I'm at the point where I'm like, the nigga who I think can't fight, who think he got some money, but he not, like, nigga, you just... Like two years ago, you was talking about you down to the last million. I remember you was, was sitting with Charlemagne looking all weak in the Bahamas. Like, damn. This is a nigga who think like, what, you, you got some money? Everybody got money. You a house slave now. You run around doing bunny hops. You go from here to there, nigga. I was at the Super Bowl, so was you. You was fixing Michael Rubin coffee, nigga. I seen it. It was in a box. I seen you, nigga. What is he doing? Is he fixing? Oh my God, Meek is over here. Oh my. Meek is over here fixing this nigga fucking coffee. Nick because uh, P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you got to tell him no. Yeah, I already know, man. <laughs> hey, man, verbal abuse. You hear me? I still got messages coming up. Verbal abuse to the boy Meek Mills, man. Reaction video like never before with Red G TV, man. You hear me? Nigga out here in the stormy weather. Because I had to go get some jewels right quick. You hear me? And then I ran across the video academics whooping Meek Mill last. Bro, I had to do a reaction video to it, man. Say Meek. <laughs> you need to defend yourself, brother. <laughs> hey, defend yourself, dog. Ain't nothing wrong with defending yourself, Mike. <laughs> you <hear me? laughs> Nigga, you better defend yourself. You hear me? Ah, damn, got you out here looking weak, man. Not me, man. Huh? Cold world. But yeah, though, man, that's that reaction video like never before, man. <laughs> But yeah, though, man. <laughs> Nigga about to hop out the whip. Dead. Go to the crib at all. You know. But you know, I had to tap in right quick. I ain't been posting no videos, so I had to tap in real quick with y'all. Yeah, man. Racing video like never before with Red G TV. YouTube, holla at me. Yeah, man. Y'all know what the business is. Cut.